Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this video, we're going to be checking out Photoshop's new select subject feature. I've got a bunch of images lined up and we're going to put it to the test. Can it really cut out subjects in one click? Let's find out. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see that I've opened up a variety of different images and we're really going to test out this one click select a mask cutout feature that is in Photoshop CC 2018 and I'm quite excited to try this out. I believe this was something that I saw demoed at Adobe Max last year and it's really interesting to see how AI is now being used in the context of something like Photoshop to really enhance and well more in this case shortcut elements of the creative process to make life a lot easier for people like me who cut stuff out quite regularly. So I've got a lot of different images, we're going to really test this out, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to start with this image here, yellow hoodie. So we've got a dude here with his floral trousers somewhere and we're going to go to select and select and mask and just make sure you've got the top option here selected that's the selection tool now we're going to select the subject so one click photoshop's going to do its thing let's see what it does pretty good not too bad and you can change the preview here so you could preview the cutout on black as well not bad at all I've got a little bit there so we can go and like fill this in so I'm just going to do this really crudely and use the refine edge tool to just refine those edges this is super good and that's just a, a quick refinement from me okay not bad that is a pretty good start and you can of course refine this over here a bit more as well but uh, that's pretty good Okay, so we had some bright colors in the hoodie. It's quite distinctive. It's a pretty easy one. It's a pretty easy one. So we'll close that one down. Let's go on to this one. Ninja Rapunzel. So she's got big sword, black and white. Let's see how it does something like this. So we can select a mask, select subject. Ooh, the suspense, the suspense. Not bad. Okay, this is pretty cool. We've kind of lost the bottom of the sword there. So if I zoom in, Okay, we've got a lot of grey down there, so that's probably something I'd need to just go and refine, not like that, <laughs> refine manually that bottom of the sword. This bit here, it didn't detect, although we can go and refine that. That's pretty easy to refine with the Refine Edge tool. So that took me, what, a few seconds to just refine that. This is obviously me doing it really roughly. So the sword there was the main sticking point, but everything else... I mean, even the hair, actually. Even the hair here has done a pretty good job. Of course, we need to go in and refine that a bit more, but like round here as well, I mean, you can refine that hair with the Refine Edge tool pretty quickly. You can see there, just one click, and we refined a lot of that hair even more. Wow, okay. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. We've got casual trap, a casual trap, casual chap strolling. So this is a little bit more tricky. We've got some kind of complicated bits of background, bushes and trees, things around his hair. So let's see how Photoshop handles something like this. This is so much fun. I could literally sit here and do this all day. Ah, we've lost his leg. We've lost his leg. And we've caught a little bit of the background. I think that's a person in the background there or something. So we'll need to remove them at some point. Okay, so if we just paint back in his foot. So this foot here is something that we'd need to go and do manually. The other foot, we've lost a little bit of detail around there. So the feet, it seemed to find that quite difficult. The trousers, it did a better job of the trousers the back of the jacket did a really good job and then up here again we probably need to do a bit more work around the edge so this one was a little bit more challenging Let's see if we can just speed refine the edge of the face there 
Okay, so the feet were the main issue there, and this per this person here is pretty easy to remove, and parts of the head, and I think I've removed his eyes by mistake. Yes, I have, but let's not worry about that. Okay, that was all right. That was all right. Let's go on to our next one. We have a pair of shoes, so not even a human being. We're going to try shoes, <laughs> select a mask. I used to cut out products for a living at the beginning of my career, so... Let's see how this one works. <laughs> no way. No way. That is almost perfect. Uh, Adobe, why didn't you invent this like 12 years ago? Like I could have just like sped through all my work and, and got enormous amounts of praise from my managers. Okay, so we've got a little bit at the bottom there. But all in all, if I zoom in... Let me try this out on red. I mean, look at that. This isn't even a, a person. So I think when it says subject, this is where the, the AI, that artificial intelligence, is learning what things are and categorizing them as such. So Adobe, even though this isn't actually a subject, uh, you know, Adobe Photoshop recognizes that this is a pair of shoes, I think. I mean, it's just, that's pretty good. We might have lost a little bit down there, but... A lot of that is pretty easy to go and refine afterwards, whether you refine it in here or with the uh, kind of, you know, just work on the mask. This gives like a massive head start to anyone who, who cuts out products for a living. It's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. Okay, we've got this person here with a sunset. Now I picked this one because you can't actually see any detail there's no face eyes or anything like that so this is going to really determine if it can tell what a person is arms legs head that shape of a person let's have a go select subject so one click <laughs> pretty good okay I think this really does demonstrate the um, the level of the artificial intelligence here is that it actually does know the shape of a person. Of course, it's captured that rock, which isn't surprising because the original image, the subject was a silhouette, the rock was a silhouette. It was never going to distinguish that, I don't think. So we're not going to deduct points there. These little few bits it's missed, easy to remove with the refine edge tool. Of course, I'm doing this really quickly. You can spend a bit longer, but <laughs> literally that is uh, so if you're ever in the need to cut out um, you know a silhouette this is this is pretty nifty and when it comes to the the rock here you know it creates a mask from that selection and then we could just go in and just brush that away from the mask and there we go we've cut him out and that took what like a minute two minutes like barely any time at all ah so this is a bit more tricky this is the one that keeps bringing me back to in this video so we've got a chap's head with half a beard and then something else in the way here so this is going to be interesting to see if it does include any of this below and it is black and white as well just to make things even harder so we'll go select select a mask we press the magic button <laughs> that's pretty good that is pretty good apart from these two little bits here the rest of it is pretty good so it's recognized that this is where the subject's face ends and there is a thing in the way and we could go and just refine the edges of the hair a little bit but that's that's pretty impressive <laughs> uh, we have floating head beard man yeah so there's the original image and that's the cutout that's pretty good okay we've got one a bit more challenging now so I've picked this one deliberately because her hands are obscured by um, these kind of poles here so we'll see if it catches these in the selection so select select and a mask select subject doing his thing <laughs> gotcha. Okay, 
So it did a pretty good, I mean, let's focus on the subject first. So it did a pretty good job around the hair. Of course, we can go and refine the edges of the hair here a little bit. Maybe not like that. This might take a bit more work because we've got very light hairs on a background that is also very similar in color. So that's quite a tricky one. That would need a lot of work manually, I think. This one down the left edge, a bit easier. We've got those darker hairs. Cut out the subject pretty well. Got a bit of jagginess around the edge here, but that's easily fixable with these smooth tools and things over here. That's not an issue. Cut around the jeans pretty good. Okay, so let's go and view the original. Let's have a look. Okay, so we didn't quite get the hand in there. And this one here. So adding these poles, I thought this was going to be a pretty tricky one, to be honest. This little sliver here, it didn't detect that this was part of the subject. But that's a, that's a pretty tough cutout. And to be fair, it's cut out most of everything else over here. So... You know, even that in itself is a head start. So it's just a case of going back in and then just kind of manually going around and cutting out these bits or however you want to do it. So not bad. That was a tough one. Um, you did, you did, uh, you did all right, Photoshop. You did all right, considering. So we've got one more that we're going to do, and this is a super cute kitty with a really funny expression on his face and. Oh, I just, I love cats. I'm a cat person. And we're going to see how it does. I just love that expression. Look at his face. <laughs> oh, this cat has no time for you. He's just like, what are you doing? Right. Select, select a mask. Let's see if this works on the kitty cat. <laughs> okay. Um, well, interest, that's interesting. Let's click OK and have a look at the original. So we had this cat down here, the body and everything. We had the foot at the bottom and we had outside the window in this space here. If I just draw, so this is, this is actually the window and where that meets the cat is out of focus and very blurry and the colors are very similar. So it blurs together. So that's a really difficult one. So it didn't quite get that. It wasn't sure what part was cat and what part was window. Uh, that's a pretty tough one. And we didn't get the foot either. So we didn't get the foot. So I think where we have like a, a break where the, the subject goes out of shot or is covered by something and then comes back into shot, it sometimes struggles with that a little bit. But we got around the top of the cat's head, the ear and all of that. And we could go and, we could go and brush brush his foot back in like that so pretty easy so there we go um oh let's get the original image oh the cute kitty cat oh so there we go we're done we've tested out a whole variety of different images and i really enjoyed that that was a lot of fun and there we go. There's a look at the new select subject feature in Photoshop. Personally, I'm a huge fan. It's helped me with a ton of simple cutouts and it gives me a huge head start on more complex cutouts as well. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.